Shenmue is one of the most infamous franchises in gaming history, and that's for a long list of reasons. The original game launched on the Dreamcast in 1999 and was the most expensive game of all time, but it was also a major commercial failure due to its insane budget and the overall failure of the Dreamcast as a console. That said, the gameplay was extremely innovative and it's considered to be a landmark title in the open world genre. The sequel, Shenmue 2, was released in 2001 on the Dreamcast and ported to the original Xbox the following year, but was once again praised for its originality and innovation while being a massive financial disappointment, largely due to the rather low number of Dreamcast consoles in gamers' homes at the time, as well as intense competition from other Xbox games and a general lack of interest from Xbox gamers in a game like this. The series maintained a cult following over the next couple decades, and a third Shenmue game launched in 2018 after a successful crowdfunding campaign, but interestingly, the third game was not well received at all. And while retail sales were reportedly low, the game was the most successful in the series, largely thanks to the fact that it was crowdfunded instead of taking tens of millions of dollars out of a publisher's pocket. When it comes to the future of the Shenmue IP, fans are a bit divided, because while there is still a cult following for the series, it's kind of a hard franchise to continue because of how poorly the last game was received and how much of a financial risk it seems to be for any company involved with it. However, we are currently in the era of nostalgia bait, and if a publisher thinks they can make a few bucks on an old IP, they're gonna do it. So it shouldn't be too surprising that we recently got some information about a fourth Shenmue game entering development, although the source is a bit questionable. A leak started circulating the internet in late March, and while I can't seem to pinpoint the original source, the legitimacy and it's again a little bit questionable, but regardless, we're gonna go over everything in this leak because it's an interesting topic, and I honestly have no problem believing that a fourth Shenmue game is in development despite the history of the IP. So take everything in this video with a grain of salt, but here's everything that leaked, and just keep in mind going forward, I'm going to butcher a lot of these names, so I apologize in advance. According to the leaks, Shenmue 4 is currently in the works at Sega, with series director Yu Suzuki returning as the main creative head. Despite previous rumors that Sega's Like a Dragon team is going to help with development, this leak claims that they are not actually involved with Shenmue 4, likely because they're too busy with the next Like a Dragon project. Instead, Sega has a completely different team supplying development help on the project, so it seems that unlike Shenmue 3, the fourth game is going to get more direct help and funding from the publisher during development. The game is currently on track to release in late 2025 and reportedly looks like, quote, a new and better version of Shenmue 3 thanks to improved graphics and a handful of new models, but the leaks also state that a lot of the character models are being reused from the previous game. The main character has a handful of new models, including one of him wearing a green jacket instead of his usual brown one, as well as one of him wearing a martial arts gi. The original source says they're not sure why there are so many different versions of the main character's model, but it's possible this is an indication of being able to change his clothing on the fly, which would make sense in an open world game like this. The game's main story is roughly 20 hours long and is apparently about the main characters of the last game going to Shanghai and, quote, discovering the power of the Shiyumen holding over the city's crime world. You'll eventually meet all four of the Shiyumen's leaders, and the main villain of the story is Niao Sun. The leaker also states that Lan Di is a recurring villain but will not be defeated by the end of the game, seemingly teasing a fifth game. The leaks also claim that each of the four Shiyumen leaders will get their own story, but supposedly Niao Sun is the one who will serve as the main final boss while Lan Di lives on for the next game. Aside from the fact that the leak is filled with typos, as many leaks are, I'm not sure how much I believe this. Like I said earlier, I have no trouble believing a fourth Shenmue game is in the works or is going to be in the works eventually, given how much of a cult classic it is, but I'm not sure if I'm on board with it having a sequel bait ending. If there truly is a fourth Shenmue game in the works, the creative team likely had to fight tooth and nail to get it made after how much of a financial risk the IP has been over the years, so do you really think they would take that opportunity to tell an incomplete story? I can totally believe the game is reusing Shenmue 3 models to make production as cheap as possible to reduce the financial riskiness, but at the end of the day, I just don't know if I believe Sega would green light this. Shenmue 3 wasn't unsuccessful, but it was also crowdfunded. Had the previous game not been crowdfunded, it almost certainly would have lost Sega money. So unless a Shenmue 4 Kickstarter is announced within the next few months to offset development costs, I really don't know if this is going to happen. Granted, it's not impossible that a Shenmue 4 Kickstarter does get announced around E3, as Shenmue 3's Kickstarter was also announced at an E3 conference. So for all we know, Sega could actually be starting work on the game on their own before announcing a crowdfunding campaign to help with the budget and offset potential risks. But at the end of the day, would that really be worth it? Is there, like, is there really a point anymore with this series? I don't know. Be sure to let us know what you think about a potential fourth Shenmue game down in the comments. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any future news, and we'll see you in the next one.